In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the ChatGPT 4.0 with Canvas model to quickly customize your courses, other content, create marketing materials, pretty much anything much more efficiently than just having one long chat or some of the other tools and certainly faster than doing anything from scratch. So the way to do it is first open up a new chat and make sure that you've chosen the chat GPT-4 with Canvas model. Right now it's in beta as I'm recording this, so you may not have access to it, but hopefully you will soon as they work through any bugs. And what I'm going to do is use our Marketing for Introverts workshop, that's one of our private label rights workshops, and customize it for an audience and do some creation of personalized materials and sales page copy. And then you'll see how you can do it for other things as well. I'm going to start by customizing the introduction to the course book. In this case, it's called a student guide. And I'm going to do it for physical therapists. I'm going to put in the prompt, rewrite the introduction. I'm just going to focus on the introduction of marketing for introverts to target physical therapists who want to reach more clients while staying authentic. Use the attached student guide for context and label it intro for physical therapists. I'm actually going to upload the student guide because that's more efficient here, but you could paste in the copy too. And I'm working in a paid account in a team version where it automatically does not share the content with ChatGPT. So I'm fine with uploading something. Otherwise you might have to go into your data settings and make sure that it's not going to use your materials. So I opened up the file. It's in the student materials in here and it's called workbook. I'm going to open that. That attaches it. So ChatGPT now has the context. I'm going to press send. And it's doing it first right in the chat. I want it to open up the canvas to edit more easily. So I'm gonna just say, put that into the canvas. And it's opened up the canvas where I can quickly edit it. You can see some of the things that it wrote specifically for physical therapists. I might wanna do some other changes here, but first let's make a few edits to the formatting of it. I'm gonna say edit the physical therapist version, because I am gonna do other versions, by adding subheadings to break up the content and include bullet points for key takeaways. Let's also add a hook in the beginning. Also add a question at the beginning to hook readers and motivate them to continue the course. Let's try that. So I can use prompts over on the left here to have it edit things. And you can see it added subheading, why this guide is perfect for you. And I can make little changes here, like why this workshop. So you can edit directly in the canvas. Or I might want to change a specific bullet point and I can tell it to do that directly in the document. I can highlight something and it'll pop up with this Ask ChatGPT. And I can just say, reword this to not use the word perfect. It can be anything that you want to avoid. This is just an example. So why this workshop is right for you. Or I might want to reword some of these other bullet points. For instance, here I could say, use words other than comfortable and genuine. Make sure they don't repeat things already written above. Be specific though about what you want out of it. All right, so now I have a version. I can go back in and edit more. And I might want to do some other versions though for other groups or other audiences that you might serve. So let's try one for virtual assistants. And what I'm saying now is now rewrite the introduction for virtual assistants looking to grow their client base in a comfortable way. Add this after the one for therapists and label it intro for VAs. I want it all in the same section in this case because I want to be able to pick from them and go back. I'm going to create the other materials in other sections. Let's see what that does. So it's kept the intro for physical therapists. And now if I scroll down, it's added the one for intro for virtual assistants and with the same sort of formatting, but with different wording that addresses virtual assistants. And I could do that now for other audiences also. For instance, let's do the same thing 
for life coaches. Same type of wording, adding it with a label. And it keeps the content that it's already done, the intro for physical therapists, the intro for virtual assistants, and then we've got the intro for life coaches. I could even edit this here if I needed to. They have some other heading options in here. Not a ton, but you're not gonna use it directly from here anyway. So that gives you some ideas for how you can rewrite sections of your course book. There are also some places to leave comments in here for yourself, and you can play with those as well. That just means little explanations that you can do. I don't usually use those. Now let's play around with customizing the workbook or the action guide, as it's called in some courses, to create a filled in example that'll help your students get a little bit of a head start with understanding what's expected of them, but in a context that they can resonate with. I've played with that a little bit with some different prompts. And the one I'm using here is using the marketing for inter workbook template, create a filled in version tailored to physical therapists, use the attached workbook template for reference and start a new section in canvas for this customized version. Let's upload from the computer, upload the workbook. I played with this before and this should work with this prompt. It opens up a new section and let's see what that looks like because I haven't shown you the workbook itself. This is where it really helps to have it side by side. So there was a self-assessment in the beginning. Let's take a look at that. It's done a little bit about on that, but it isn't actually necessary to edit the self-assessment because it already has scoring and questions and things like that. But we would start here with these sorts of filled in places. I tried telling it to only fill in where there were spaces and it got a little bit confused. So a simpler prompt sometimes works best. So reflect on past experiences. Here it gave me some different things I could fill in. You might wanna ask for more as well. So more examples, that's a case where you can highlight it and ask for an additional example. Let's see, it was work and career, it was other areas. Yep, that's exactly what it asked for, strengths. And I can just break it down more. Same with tactics, it had an example. It has some pros and cons, all the different spaces that are in this workbook. It's for the most part given them. I might want an extra tactics. So for the section on list tactics we've used in the past, I could just highlight that section, click ask chat GPT and say add another example in addition to this. Let's see what it does. And it, it worded it as another example, but it doesn't matter because you would be copying this and pasting it into a new version of the workbook that would be an example. So you would copy this workbook and maybe create an example filled in workbook, or maybe just do sections, or you could have an example just as the first area here. So have tactic, example, um, follow-up emails, and then put in that example in there. All right, so that is how you can create some filled in examples. An easy thing to do there would just be to take one activity and ask for an example. It works well with things like case studies and role plays and scenarios too, where you give it the scenario, ask it for another example for a different audience, and then you can go in Canvas and edit that or ask for more or ask for another example in the same format. Now let's take a look at creating some sales page copy. This can get a little more complicated, but bear with me. And again, we'll wanna do that in a new section. So let's try a prompt. It has a lot of the information already. And I'm saying write three headline options. You wanna do it step by step. So write three headline options for marketing for introverts that appeal to introverted physical therapists. Use the previously attached student guide, the revised introduction for therapists, and the example workbook for context. Start a new section in Canvas for the sales page copy. I'm actually gonna attach the student guide again, just to be safe. I know it's supposed to remember things, but mm, sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. Here's the student guide. 
and I'm going to attach that again. All right, and let's click send. Let's see what we get. It's starting a new thing and we've got some headline options. You can read through those. You can just delete a couple. You can just pick one. I'm going to pick, I'm going to edit to pick the one I want. So let's see, market your physical therapy practice authentically, guide for introverts, to thrive without feeling pushy. <laughs> marketing made for introverts, easy tactics for physical therapists, uh, low pressure marketing strategies for introvert physical therapists. Let's just pick one and then just manually editing here, there. And I'm gonna say, make this headline more concise. How's that? This is a little bit long. Low pressure marketing for introverted physical therapists, build trust and grow your client base. Not the most concise, but I'm gonna leave it for now. Now let's go on to the next section where you need some text that I'm gonna use the problem agitate solution model. ChatGPT should know these kind of standard sales page models. So if you know which one you want, you can give it that precisely. I'm gonna say, write a problem agitate solution paragraph to follow the edited headline, focus on the challenges introvert therapists face with traditional marketing and how this course helps solve it. Add the text after the headline. Let's do that. And then we'll do some editing of that and some formatting. It's done it as one paragraph. So I wanna break it up break it up into the separate PAS sections. As I told it a paragraph, I should have just said section. Let's see what it does for that. So we've got problem that just didn't divide it. Let's say agitate and solution. So you can see how you need to do some manual editing, but it still needs some work before I can do more editing manually. Here, I'm gonna say, add a question at the beginning under the headline to hook readers. Edit the PAS text to add more conversational language and make it friendly. Add formatting such as bold text and bullet points to emphasize key parts. I'm also gonna take out this and let's see what it does. We've got the question, do you struggle with promoting your practice in a way that feels authentic? Problem, agitate, solution. We don't wanna use those words, but it's got the other th stuff. So I'll just, I can just take this out. Marketing, your practice can feel overwhelming, especially when traditional methods push you to be overly promotional. I might break this up manually myself. These little things you don't need ChatGPT to you to do, the little edits, but here I'd rather have this as a question, for example. And I'm gonna say, make this a question that leads into the paragraph that follows. If you have a better idea of what you want, you can just put that in. So it's hard to know where to start when marketing feels like it goes against who you are. So I could just take that out, but it will need work. And let's ask ChatGPT to make this flow from the previous paragraph. Make this a sentence, a sentence. You can see how you really need to give it very specific guidance. Let's see what it's doing. It didn't edit that. I tried to merge it, but it seems there's an issue matching the exact text structure. I'm just gonna take that out. And here, I think I would just say, add a transition sentence that moves from the paragraph that ends with, but what if there was a better way to the introduction of the course as a solution? But let's try that again. I had a typo there, but hopefully it will ignore that. And let's see what it did. We've got, but what if there is a better way? I'm gonna separate that out. There's a path forward that allows you to market authentically and effectively. Ooh, that's horrible. Let's ask it to reword this to be a friendlier, more, let's say, friendlier, more conversationable tone. Let's try that. What if there's a better way? There is a, there's a way to move forward that helps you market in a, in a way. Oh my gosh. We used way a lot. And I'm gonna say again, revise this without using the word way. And let's just leave it at that. 
can move forward with a marketing approach that feels genuinely and truly fits you. Okay, I'm going to leave that now. And then we can see it's designed specifically for therapists like you, etc. And let's move on to a call to action. We need a call to action at the end. You can see that again, that this is just draft sales page text. You need to do editing on it. So I've got generate three call to action options, encouraging introverted therapist practice owners to sign up without feeling pressured. Add this after the PAS text. And I'm just going to say to the end of the section end of the copy. Let's see what we get now. It's interesting is it says fail to edit, but then it does edit. I'm going to delete this extra space here. Let's see. Let's pick one of these and take it ourselves. I'm going to say ready to take the next step. Curious to see how marketing can feel natural. Want to connect with more clients while staying true to yourself. Let's use this one. Take off the numbering here and make this into a heading just because it'll make it stand out for me. There. Join us today and start building your client base at your own pace, or I might want to reword that as well. So you can see how this will help you draft some sales page copy. Sales pages are a little more difficult to do, but if you do it section by section, it will make it easier. And you can do the same sorts of things for an, an email series, for a live stream, for a video script, and just have it right there open next to you and keep guiding ChatGPT through the different things you want to change. And then copy each thing into, say, a Word document or a Google Doc where you have it, you have it saved and you can refer back to it and edit it. What I did is I created a document called Marketing for Introverts, Customizations in Google Docs. And in Google Docs, you can create these tabs. For instance, I copied and pasted the student guide introduction in here, the workbook examples, and some other sales page copy ideas. Every time I did it, it came up with something a little bit different. So if you don't like what you get the first time, and the editing isn't working for you, you can just start over again, even within the same chat, have it start a new section with that same prompt and then copy all your ideas here into a separate document and then actually do the work. So I hope that was helpful in seeing how you can use the chat GBT4 with Canvas for doing some of your content creation and editing, particularly when you're using existing content, because you can see how much harder it was to create something from scratch, like that sales page copy versus using existing course book, workbook, things like that. Let me know if you have any questions.